Hi everyone, welcome back on my channel, Printed Cut. Today you can see it's a little bit different setup. We have assembled Ecocassi roller, which we assembled on the last video. We have Ortho Laser Master 2S2 version, laser engraver. We have a glass which is already covered with one layer of paint and we will make another layer of paint to make engraving darker and yes so in this video we'll use all the safety measures safety glasses ventilated space uh, no people around which shouldn't be here and yet all the time controlling the engraving area and actually we can start to disconnect our bigger cassie roller let's put it aside also for some moment take off the laser vintage look paint while well, it's getting dried I will put back my setup okay so laser is here Good. Now the Vidocassi YRR roller. We need to connect it. There is a from the YSE electric motor. We need to disconnect connection and connect it with roller. Okay, and it's done actually. So. We have everything pretty small. And okay guys, while we are waiting for paint to dry, let's set up everything for rotary engraving. So we need to open edit machine settings. We need to put this on a pulse. It's already put on a pulse, soft limit. And home cycling. We need to turn this off. Okay. Yes, and we need to go to tools, rotary setup, and we need to enable rotary. We need to put here 63 millimeters per rotation. If you have a casual auto rotary roller YRR 2.0 version, it will be 18 millimeters and already I measured my glass is 25 millimeters press ok that's done now we need to write something down for example printed cut let's change the look select it You can use the shift to make it like straight 90 degrees, 45 degrees and yes, now we need to fill it, we can convert it, fill all, dpi, okay, so it's, it's pretty nice and after that we need to change the we need to change the speed and the power, but I think I already set it, so the speed is really great for engraving on glass and the power is quite enough, so the overscanning will be 1%, line interval 0.1mm, DPI is good, 
let it be threshold and after that we just press ok in the same time we will need to frame it to check is everything correct on our engraving material and we can start to engrave just remember to position it before frame to check is everything fine and then start we can start to engrave on it so let's put it right here okay it's good check if the laser calibration is fine yes now let's check one more time with our glass is everything good i think we can start and before start remember guys uh, safety I will use the googles meanwhile I will be in another, uh, another space and this area will be ventilated and monitorized all the time so remember to do the same thing when you are working with your projects Let's move aside. It's adorable. Perfect. The next step I will do, I will take off the painting and you will see the result. Okay, so take some time. Okay guys, so I cleaned up the paint cleaned up the paint. Now you can see how smooth this engraving and uh now you can see the big picture. Uh, it took about 20 minutes to prepare everything, to engrave, to clean up the paint. And imagine you can make a business from it. You can make uh, glasses for wedding. You can personalize it. This is the cheapest one. Uh, I bought it, I think, for a one one euro and 
look what is the re result so you can do tons of stuff with this laser and with this roller you can make uh, engrave the mugs and any other uh, round object super this is really nice looking glass I will take the camera a little bit off Okay, so for this day video that's it, I will enjoy my drink and prepare for next video where we will make spe special stand ups for engraving like this uh, with a YRR 2.0 roller and for today that's it, so bye. Uh, subscribe, like this video and see you in the next one.